We'll talk about a banner year for the Aggies. Cotton Bowl victory, Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, wait a second. Uh, we're talking about the Utah State Aggies, who, by the way, finished with the same record, 11-2, and two, as those other Aggies. And here to discuss Utah State, those Aggies, we bring in our managing editor, Pete Futek. And uh, all kidding and joking aside, th this is a quality program. They have a number of guys returning at key spots this year. You're pretty optimistic about Well, the funny part is, is that they're not a quality program until very, very recently. This was a doormat for years and years. Just, you know, the captain of the 3-9 and nine season. Every, se every year, it seemed like this program could never, ever turn a corner. And like you alluded to, last year, not only did they go 11-2, and two, they came within a gag field goal of beating Wisconsin. They lost to BYU 7-6. and six. They were this close close to being truly special. Now granted, they got to go through the whack, but they were really good against a lot of really decent teams. So uh, the program itself rose up in a real big hurry. And now, like you said, they've got talent in place. I don't think they're going to rumble through the Mountain West, but certainly uh, compared to where they were just you know a few years ago, all of a sudden this program is actually something to talk about, and it's actually very, very good. The other Aggies have Johnny Manziel. Yep. These Aggies, though, have another pretty good one in Chucky Keaton. You think he's going to be one of the better players he in the He is, West. but it is such a tough year. Now that they're in the Mountain West, you know, look at the quarterbacks around this league. Brett Smith at Wyoming, David Fales at San Jose State, Joe Southwick's going to be fine at Boise State, and Derek Carr is kind of my guy at Fresno State. You know, Keaton's an ultra-efficient, very good passer, a smart, tough playmaker. He's been around for a few years now. He knows how to win games, and he's going to have to carry this offense on his back from time to time. But you're like, like you said, he is a very talented guy behind a great offensive line. Tyler Larson, probably the best center in America. Well, Keaton among eight starters returning on offense, so a lot for fans to be excited about, but what concerns you? Depth. I mean, the problem with Utah State still is going to be their depth. They just don't have that talent in the twos that they do at the ones. And, you know, they don't have a slew of NFL stars in their front line, but they got enough good players surrounding guys like Keaton and Tyler Larson uh, to, to potentially have this, make this a good season. The other problem is they got to replace a lot of the skill players. The receiving core has got to be redone. Uh, Joe Hill is going to be a nice running back for them, but they still got to replace the key parts in the backfield. Uh, as long as Keaton's upright and fine, though, and that offensive line should keep him okay, they got a shot. But again, if the injury strike, all of a sudden they're going to have a lot of big problems. When Gary Anderson decided to leave and take the job at Wisconsin, the Aggies just decided to promote from within and they yep. brought up Matt Wells. What's interesting here, he has no head coaching experience at any level. Yep. So how does he do in his first He's year? He's just going to keep the train moving. He's not going to mess around with anything crazy. The defense was one of the big keys last year. That defensive front seven was fantastic. You saw it against teams like Wisconsin and BYU and some of the bigger teams on the slate. They really were that good. So it's going to start with the defense. Hope the offense can be efficient and effective. He's not going to change things up all that much. All right, Pete, we'll see how they do in 2013. More team and conference preview videos are up on the site right now, plus written analysis from Pete and the rest of his team at Campus Insiders.